What's up, YouTube? Excuse me, y'all didn't mean to burp in your face. It's your boy JB, and I'm here with the review for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. We're back, you guys. This is season 11, episode 1. Episode is titled Dress to the 90210s. And yeah, it was an okay opening episode. It wasn't bad. I didn't expect much from it, so yeah, it was okay. But before we get into that, into the review, if you guys are watching this video or any of my other videos on this channel and you're not already subscribed to the channel, why are you guys continuing to take me out on a date? And you know, stick me with the bill. Hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell button as well, and also hit that like button and share the video. So with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into the episode review, shall we? All right, you guys, so Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, we're back for season 11. We have lost one cast, actually we've lost two cast members and we've added two more. One of them I'm not that thrilled to see. One of them I'm interested to get to know. So I'm not that thrilled to see Sudden as a full-time housewife and I'm interested to get to know Crystal. I didn't like Sudden last season and I don't think I'm gonna like it this season, but that's not what I'm here to talk about right now. So let's first start up with Kyle Richards. So we see Renna as Renna goes over to Kyle's house so we see Kyle in her bed with her nose, you know, her nose is bandaged up. And we find out that I was like, oh, Kyle got a nose job. Cool. Um, so Kyle said that she had an accident on the set of Halloween. How in the hell did you have an accident on the set of Halloween? When, huh? I just thought about that. Kyle, that was a lie. Because I just thought about that. Halloween had been since filmed. Because how long, maybe it's not a lie. And you know, you know what? I can't say that's a lie. Cause we haven't even, cause Halloween was pushed back last year to this year. It comes out, the Halloween movie comes out this year. And I know she's in that one. So unless she survives this one and, and but I thought they filmed both of them at the same time. Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends or something like that. I thought they filmed them at the same time. You know what, maybe, oh, you know what, I think around the time of the reunion she was still filming Halloween. So, okay, you know what, Kyle, maybe you're not lying. Maybe she is, who the hell knows? I mean, you live in Beverly Hills, so it ain't like anybody would be like, oh my God, Kyle got a nose job. But whatever. So they talk about, you know, have they saw any of the ladies. Renna hasn't saw anybody, but Kyle has saw Dorit. We're going to talk about Dorit in just a second. Um, they went to Mexico together. So Dorit, Kyle, Maurizio, and PK, they went to Mexico together. And, you know, Kyle is telling Renna that when it comes down, you know, she's reached out to um, Garcelle. And so she and Garcelle are going to go out to lunch so that way they can, you know, sit down, have a conversation with each other and see how they can mend, you know, bad blood, I guess. Honestly, last season with Kyle and Gar Garcelle, it was really stupid to be quite honest with you guys. There shouldn't have been much of a beef there. The biggest, I mean, I remember where the beef started with Kyle and um, Garcelle because Kyle felt some type of way about Garcelle going on Watch What Happens Live with Andy and he asked Garcelle who was the most welcoming housewife and who was the least receptive to her and she said it was Kyle. But then even throughout the season, they had their issues, which was never really that deep. It was trivial, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I love Garcelle and I like Kyle. It was trivial on both parts. So I'm gonna say it was on both of them. And it could have been just, you know, a lack of communication on both parts. So they're just gonna sit down and see how they can move forward. But let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys, next up, let's discuss Erica. So Erica Girardi. You're not gonna have a good season. Oh, this is gonna, oh, this is gonna be a terrible season for Girardi. Gonna be honest with you guys, because we all know what's going on, and we all know what happened in the blogs when they were filming with her, you know, upcoming divorce from um, Tom, and that legal issue that they got. Ugh. I saw people on Twitter already talking about it, especially with. Oh. 
you know, I want like so when they f started filming, I wonder how far in filming were they when that information came out, more specifically, taken from the people. Because I wish, er I mean, Erica, in this episode, you definitely could have dialed back on the glam. You should have died. You should have dialed back on the glam squad. Should have dialed back on the glam squad. Should have dialed back on. Now I know. I saw an interview when they were filming that Erica was like, you know, she can do her own makeup. Girl, I wish you had done your own makeup in this episode. Done your own makeup, dressed yourself, got, you know, got some hand-me-down clothes, something. It ain't a good look. You're going to get drugged all season. Not by me. I still like you. I'm not going to drag you. I still have a side eye for you, but I'm not going to drag you. So we see her and Dorit in the car, and they're getting ready to head over to Kyle's. Dorit's face is ever changing every season Dorit looks like another a different woman it like it, she just morphs into a different person every freaking season because honestly to be honest with you guys when I first saw Dorit in that car I had no idea who the hell that was it took me a minute to realize I'm like wait a minute oh I was like that's Dorit Dorit whatever work you doing stop just the fillers, the 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 Botox, the the face, whatever you doing to your face, stop. It's actually making you look a lot older than what I think you are. Cause I correct me if I'm wrong, but Dorit is actually one of the no. Who's the youngest on this cast? Actually, I do believe it is Dorit. Dorit is one of the younger ones on this cast. But yeah, girl, whatever you doing to your face, please stop and fast. Um. Let's see where we go. Where we go, where we go, where we going, where we going. Oh, so Dorit and um, Eric, like I said, they were going over to, to um, Kyle's place, right? And they went over there. So Dorit is telling the girls she wants to have a barbecue to get all the girls together. Since, you know, they all haven't really saw each other since COVID, which that was kind of a lie. Since this all happened, that was a bit of a lie. Because I remember after the reunion last year, because I believe it was, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Garcelle and Denise went on Watch What Happens Live, and they were talking about after what happened after the reunion, and they even showed a picture of it. After the reunion last season, Erica, Renna, Teddy, Erica, Renna, Teddy, and Dorit, they all went out to they all went out to dinner after the reunion last year. Didn't invite Sutton, didn't invite Denise, and didn't invite Garcelle. So y'all saw each other after the reunion. But okay, we gonna play along like that didn't happen. Um. So yeah, here's one more thing. So Erica, we saw her in one scene in her. I guess it was a closet. I mean, she had racks and racks of clothes. Girl, you should downsize donate you know what that would be the nicest thing you could do donate to a nice and worthy charity sell them clothes and donate them hoes to a, a charity maybe particularly a charity kind of similar to what your husband has allegedly stole from just saying just giving you an idea but let's move on all right you guys next let's talk about garcelle love garcelle I'm gonna keep saying that i love garcelle and um We'll talk about it. So Garcelle, she's hanging out with Sher um, Sheree Fletcher. That's Will Smith's ex-wife, right? Yeah, that's Will's ex-wife. Sheree is Will's ex-wife, right? Sheree. Why don't they bring Sheree on as a housewife? I would really like Sheree as a housewife, or at least a friend of. I think Sheree would be good. I mean, we ain't saw Sheree on reality TV since... um. What was that show on VH1? Hollywood Exes. That was, wait. Wait a minute, Cherie, 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 Cherie. That is Will Smith's ex-wife, right? I always get her and Mark Lawrence as his ex-wife confused. I always get them confused. Cherie Fletcher. Oh, she's Zampino now. 
So that's how long Sheree. Yep, yeah, that is Will's ex-wife. Oh, wait, when? Damn. Some. Oh, that's when she was. Oh, she was Sheree Fletcher when she got married to that last man and they got divorced. Okay, that's right. So Sheree Zampino. But yeah, Sheree, I will ask you, Andy. Andy, let's test Sheree out as a friend of the housewife. I think Sheree would be a good addition to this show. I would prefer to all of a sudden. Just saying. I don't like sudden. It's just something about sudden that just doesn't gel well with me, doesn't mesh well with me. And I just don't see it for sudden. You guys might throw your tomatoes. I, 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 can't, I can't fake it. So, so Garcelle is telling us that, you know, she and sudden have been hanging out pretty tough since last year which is cool. I don't have no issues with that. Going, you know, if she's cool with you, you'd be cool with her. She just gives, she just, it's just something about sudden that I just don't like. Don't know what it is. So, you know, they talk about who they have saw and who they haven't saw. Um, Garcelle says, you know, she has talked to Denise and, you know, Gar I mean, sudden was like, you know, she's texted Denise, but Denise never reached back out to her. Okay, wouldn't care. I mean, it wouldn't make me no never mind to be quite honest with you. If I text you and you don't respond to back to my text message, I don't care. Unless we are in a relationship, don't really care. Unless you're my family, don't really care. Unless you're my best friend, don't really care. Um. So then, you know, Garcelle tells, um, um, what's old girl's name? Sutton that she's going out with Renna so that they can discuss what happened last year. So they do go out and. Renna is apologetic to Garcelle saying, you know, she didn't mean to hurt Garcelle if she did hurt Garcelle. Mm. You know, I'm going to have the same stance with this situation. Because you guys, I did review Beverly Hills last season, but I fell off and I never came back to it. But the situation last season with the ladies versus um, Denise that was an interesting situation last season. I don't know why the ladies really gave one iota of a, you know, what about if Denise and Brandy Glanville had slept together. I would hope and pray that Denise didn't sleep with Brandy, but I believe she did. Now, I'm going to keep the same, like I, what I was saying a few minutes ago was I'm going to keep the same stance. The same way that I defended Portia all season on Real Housewives of Atlanta about if she slept with Bolo, that was her business. I'm going to say the same for Denise. If Denise slept with Brandy Glanville, that was her business. It had nothing to do with the ladies. Now, what I will give the ladies was the fact that Brandy was saying that, you know, Denise was talking shit about them. That I will give them, especially when she said that Denise was talking shit about Teddy. That is the only thing that I would give those ladies from last season. If Denise was talking shit to Brandy, absolutely call her, bring her, you know, call her out do that but as far as her sleeping with brandy why did y'all need to know that who cares who the fuck cares um but like i said run apologized to denise not denise garcelle and honestly i just felt like it was bullshit i didn't i you know um garcelle says she's ready to, she'll move forward with renna but you know she's apprehensive she is gonna tread lightly with renna you should you shouldn't. I mean, look at what happened with, um, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but look at what happened with her and, um, what was her name? Oh God, Munchausen's disease. Yolanda, Yolanda. Look at what happened with Renna and Yolanda. Look at what happened with Renna and Yolanda. Look at what happened with Renna and Dorit when she came on. Were people doing coke in your bathroom? Never forget that. Look at how what happened with Renna and Kim Richards. Oh my God. Kim Richards actually stayed on Renna's neck so badly. I actually felt bad for Renna when Kim was on the show because Kim was cutthroat. Let's talk about the hut. Let's talk about the husbands. And when Renna slammed that glass down and Kyle ran out that door, I will never forget it. Yes, you guys, I've been watching Beverly Hills since the beginning. That is one I can tell you, I can tell you guys which shows I've been watching since the beginning. 
Beverly Hills is one of them. Potomac, one of them. Salt Lake City, y'all know, y'all already know that. But yeah, um, damn. So yeah, I mean, with Garcelle, I would move very lightly when it comes to Lisa Renna. Really would. But let's move on. Let's talk about Sudden real quick. It ain't much with her. So we see Sudden. She's at her new house, which is not technically her new house. It's an old house. It's a rented house. You know, it's really interesting that Sudden is renting Kyle's house. Like the way that Sudden acted last season, I would just never guess that Sudden would rent from Kyle or, or anyone at that or anyone for that matter. Like I said, when it comes to Sudden, she's just not for me. And I know that I know that the fandom loves Sudden. I'm one of those people I can take a leave Sudden. She just she's just off putting for me. She honestly she's she seems a little inauthentic to me. That's really what I that's really the vibe that I get from Sudden. I just get inauthentic. But I mean you guys could feel differently, but I just get inauthentic when I see Sutton on on the screen. Um she's better than me. I'm gonna keep it real with you there. I would not be paying twenty thousand dollars a month for that fucking house that Kyle hell no. Twenty K? But I mean I guess it is I mean it's it's in a, a prestigious area in Beverly Hills. Bitch, no. I would buy my own home. I really would. Is Sutton broke? I don't mean to be funny, but like, can she not afford her own home? That's the question that I have. Not being funny, just asking a question. Cause I mean, $20,000, that's a lot of money. $20,000 a month and then you add it up to a year. Uh, $20,000, that is a lot of money. Like, I just wouldn't be me. Like, you can buy a house for that. You could build, like, you could do what Garcelle did. Like, you could literally do what Garcelle did. I I'm sorry, I just wouldn't be spending $20,000 a month and rent for a house that is not mine. Unless she's renting to own that house, just wouldn't be me. Wouldn't be me, like $20,000 well, technically, it was $25,000 a month, but Kyle says she gets a friends and family discount. Girl, $5,000? You knocked off $5,000? It's not a lot. I mean, it is a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not. Because she's still giving you, I mean, for a year, that's $240,000. No. Thank you. I would, yeah. Okay, let's move All right, on. you guys. Next, let's discuss Rena real quick. So Rena and Kyle are heading over to the new girl Crystal's house. Um, when it comes to Crystal, I you know I'm gonna have to feel Crystal out. I think I'm going to like Crystal. I do. So far, I think I'm gonna like Crystal. But you know we'll go. We'll see how the season progresses. But I think I'm gonna like Crystal. And it's still gonna stick the same for sudden that I just don't see it for sudden. Sorry, you guys. Hate that. I mean, if you like, if you like her, you like her. But um, so Crystal and um, Kathy know each other, but Rena nor Kyle really know um, Crystal. Um, Crystal's house is nice. Crystal's husband, he's a few, he's 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 older than she is, which nothing's wrong with that. Is he a director? Because I know they kept talking about the Lion King. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I kind of tuned out just a little bit with this scene. <laughs> um. But on the way there, Kyle and Rena are talking about um, Garcelle once again. So Kyle is telling Rena that she is going to have lunch with Garcelle so that they can just kind of iron out and smooth things over. And Rena says, you know, oh, we had um, dinner with each other and we cleared the air. I was like, oh, y'all cleared the air. Uh -huh. I don't know if y'all cleared the air, Rena, but hey, if you think so. Yeah, y'all didn't clear. Y'all didn't really clear the air. Y'all just kind of put a bandage on things for the moment. You know, Ren, you apologize. She listened to your apology. I don't know if she necessarily accepted your apology. And she says she would tread lightly. When someone says they're going to tread lightly with you, that doesn't mean that you're in a good space 
that means that they're going to take things slow with you and see how things progress. And then, you know, we'll take it day by day. Maybe Rena is living in a different world. Don't know. But yeah, Rena's on one page. Actually, nope, they're not even on the same page. They're not even in the same book. They're, Rena is in the fiction section and Garcelle is in the nonfiction section. But yeah, let's move on. All right, you guys, let's, lastly, let's discuss Dorit. So Dorit, her kids are being homeschooled. I will say that their playroom is so nice. You know something I just thought about? We, Since we're talking about Erica's legal issues this season, why don't we know we're talking about PK and um, Dorit's legal issues that they had? That was actually last season. Was that season 10 or season 9 when that woman came up to Dorit in Mexico and they showed that video? Like, the woman came up to her talking about her freaking money. Like, I've noticed that. over With Beverly Hills, I've noticed that. We don't discuss half of the women's legal issues that they be having. Kyle has had legal issues. We never discussed that. Well, actually, it's Mauricio. We've never discussed these women's issues. But, I mean, they sure did placate the hell. They sure did play up Denise's one fault. Sleeping with Brandy Glenn, but that is a huge fault, in my personal opinion. I don't see it for that trash box. Don't see it for Brandy Glenn, but please, for the love of God, don't let her come back. Don't let her come back in any capacity. Her face just bothers my spirit. I don't mean a plastic surgery, I just mean her face in general. Um. So, Dorit, she went over to Garcelle's house. Um, Garcelle gave her a tour of the house. I love Garcelle's um, studio. Love it. I might, you know, I might do something like that when I build my house. I loved her studio. Because, you guys, right now my studio is just basic, 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 basic. I want to upgrade. Like, I have a light right here. I have a light right here. You guys are looking at the ring light. You guys have the, the green screen. In front of me is my computer, and that's it. And then I have, like, um, a, a cabinet right there. That's it. I want to upgrade my studio. I want to put some, you know, some cha some nice chairs in here. I want to give you guys some scenery because I don't want to always just film in front of the green screen. Eventually, we're going to upgrade and get some, some nicer things. Um, but yeah, I love Garcelle's studio for the real. Um, what else? She showed her two fishes. One was a basic fish that she named Kyle, and then another one was Dorit. Um, what else? So they do talk about, you know, Renna and her going out to dinner. Like I said, Renna and Garcelle, they're in two different sections of a library. Renna thinks that they're good. Garcelle is a work in progress with when it comes to Renna. So Garcelle does ask, <clears throat> you know, Gar Garcelle asks Dorit, does she think that she can, you know, after their issues, were people doing coke in your bathroom? You know, because she trusts, you know, she said, you know, we had our issues and I felt the same way when, you know, we made up. I really couldn't trust her. And she said, well, can you trust her now? Gar I mean, Dorit paused for a little bit and she says, yeah. I'm like, no. Yeah. No, you don't think, I don't think you can trust her. Um, but whatever, let's move on. This barbecue. I'm going to agree with Erica. These women don't know the first thing about a barbecue. Like, where's the ribs? Where's the chicken? Where's the, you know, the Earl Campbell Link sausages, if you guys know what those are. Where are the hot dogs? Where are the hamburgers? Where are the ribs? Where's the, oh God, the brisket. I want some brisket so badly. Where's the brisket? Where's the mac and cheese? Where's the coleslaw? Where is, I mean, where, where is all that stuff at? Where is that stuff at? That is, when you tell me a barbecue, I'm not going to, and then the way that these women dress, Rena looks like a highlighter that just was just bleeding. And sudden, she looked like she was getting ready to go for Dancing with the Stars. Sudden, like she was getting ready to go, you know, do a shimmy on Dancing with the Stars. Actually, she looked like a chandelier. That's what she looked like. She looked like a chandelier. You might as well just grab, you know, you might as well just say, hey, sudden, let me, let me take you. Boom! And hang you. And let you shimmer all around. Because, I mean, that outfit was just hideous and atrocious. Um, Kathy, 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 girl, you got to be blinded in Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles. 
to believe that Garcelle was Kyle. Okay. I don't know how she got that one confused, but she did. Allegedly. Yo sister's white. Garcelle is black. You must be colorblind. Just saying. Um, Renna invites the lady to Lake Tahoe. And this is where Renna and, well, actually, more specifically, Garcelle said, you know, me and Renna are on two different pages. Because Sutton was talking to Garcelle about the relationship with Renna, and she was like, uh uh, it's baby steps. We're not good. Renna was talking to, who the fuck was Renna talking to? Dorit. And telling her that they're good. You're not good, but whatever. Um, yeah, that, you guys, that was the first episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Season 11. It was an okay episode. It, I mean, I, I feel like Beverly Hills is going to give us what we did not get from, you know, this season of Atlanta. Um, New York City is, like I said in my review, it's a slow burn right now. It's not bad. It's just a slow burn. I feel like, you know... I feel like the shows that started to film once, you know, restrictions started to loosen up a bit are going to be better. So I feel like seasons such as, um, I feel like this season of Salt Lake City will be good. I feel like this season of Potomac is going to be good. And I do feel like Beverly Hills is going to be good. <clears throat> and I hope for this, I hope that, <clears throat> I know that Atlanta and I know that Orange County, I know that they are doing what I have been saying for weeks, what I have been saying for a very long time. I know that Orange County and I know that Atlanta, they they are getting ready to do some shakeups with the cast. So actually, I think Orange County is on on, on a hiatus for right now, but I, I know that they're going to do some shakeups when it comes to both of those cities. And honestly, I think Dallas needs a shakeup as well. <clears throat> I know that I saw Tiffany Moon says she's not coming back, which is really sad because I really enjoy Tiffany Moon. Um, they could get rid of Cameron completely. You know, I saw last week on Twitter a lot of people were so upset about Cameron. I don't understand why. Y'all have to explain it to me. Why are y'all upset, upset about Cameron? Are y'all surprised? Like, have you never been to Texas? Have you never been to Dallas? Have you never been to Texas, period? This is a red state. Hate to tell you, it's a red state. So nine times out of ten, not everybody in Texas is racist, but a good chunk of people in Texas are racist. Just putting it out there to you. Not saying that Cameron's racist. I don't know her, but you know, if you believe, I mean, yeah, it's a red state. Sorry, not sorry. You know, y'all might be shocked by it, but I'm not. I've saw racism in my hometown. You know, <clears throat> like actually a few like some miles away from my hometown back in the 90s a man got drugged by some white men on a truck so yeah nothing like that surprises me but yeah you guys that is the review let me know what you guys think about the first episode of real housewives of beverly hills did you guys like it let me know what you guys think about you know the new additions let me know what you guys think about crystal and what you guys think about sutton um uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys feel about Garcelle and Renna. Do you guys think that things will be good between Garcelle and Renna? Do you think that Garcelle has a legit reason to be upset with Renna about what happened with Denise? Let me know all that stuff in the comment section below. And subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. Share this video, you guys. And until the next one, you guys stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Remember to wash your hands, wear your mask or not. Whichever one you choose to do, be safe in that. Um, be blessed, you guys, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for Growing Up Hip Hop on WeTV. And that's it, you guys. Bye.